Hey there, my name is Drew Brashler, and in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about how to insert waves on the left right bus, the mix buses, or your matrices using SoundGrid, the DN32 WSG, and SuperRack SoundGrid on my Mac. If you're brand new to my channel, I'm all about helping you feel more confident in your production gear no matter where you're starting from. So let's go ahead and dive in. Now, in a previous video, I showed you how to get all 32 channels into SuperRack and back into the X32 processing on the SoundGrid network. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the aux insert path as a insert for the left, right, the mix buses, the matrices, or any channels that you want to, to process through SoundGrid and then back into the console. Now, doing it this way is going to add about 0.4 milliseconds of latency, bringing our total round trip latency through waves and back to our console of about one millisecond of latency. Now, that's not using any plugins, that's using just zero latency plugins inside of SuperRack SoundGrid. But the benefit of this is I can go and insert it on any channel that I want to, up to six channels. So let's go ahead and dive in and see how this is done. Now go to your routing tab, and on our aux in, I'm going to have you scroll down and select card one through six. Now the downside of using it this way is we are going to remove our access to our aux ins. So if you are utilizing aux five and six for say an iPod or a music or a computer input, I would suggest using card one through four and only having four channels of insertable waves on the X32. But in this case, I'm going to be showing you card one through six. The next thing that we want to do is tab over to card. And then here, we're going to go on one through eight and go all the way down until we get to aux one through six mon. Now what this is doing is this is taking our aux outputs of the board and sending it to waves. Now again, we're going to remove our ability of using the aux outputs as well as the aux inputs on our board. So if you are wanting to make sure that you can still utilize your aux outputs, again, you're gonna have to reduce the amount of channels that you're wanting to process through waves. Once we have done this, we can now select the channel that we want to insert waves on. In my case, I'm going to insert it on my left right bus. So I'm going to select my left right bus and press view in the configuration and preamp tab. Once I've done that, using the last rotary knob, I'm going to rotate this down until we get to aux 1 and 2. And I'm going to select aux 1. Because this is a stereo channel, it'll automatically select aux 2 as well. At this point, before I insert this, I'm going to get this microphone going so we can hear this microphone through my console. So I have this microphone, check, check, check. I'll turn it up so you can hear it. Here we go. So we can hear this microphone coming through my console. I'm going to go back to my left, right bus, and I'm going to insert this aux one. Now, what you've noticed is that I am still talking. I haven't changed anything about my channels, but we'll notice that there is no metering other than our input of our left, right, because we haven't routed in waves yet. So now we can hop over to SuperRack SoundGrid and get this routed. So my rack one right here, I'm going to double tap into this and I'm going to call this main left, right. And on my input, I'm going to select stereo one and two. And once I do this, it is automatically going to route the output as well. And at this point, we can now see that I have metering here. So check, check, check. So now my audio has completed the path through waves. And so now I can go and add some of my favorite Mixbus plugins to this. So my favorite compressor is going to be the SSL comp. And so once we add that, we can double click into here and we can go in and dial in some of these settings. So on my SSL comp, I would have an attack of 10 and we can either set our release to auto or we can put it to 0.1 and we have a ratio of four to one. Now this is my favorite setting for a mix bus. Now some other plugins that we could add would maybe be a Waves F6. So we can go and add in our F6 RTA to be able to do some multi-band dynamic EQ on our main left, right bus. Now notice all of these have a sample latency of zero. If we go in and add, say, a L2, 
which is a fantastic limiting plugin, we would add 64 samples of latency. Now we can do some quick math here of figuring out how much time that is, but 64 divided by the sample rate, which is 48,000, is 1.3 milliseconds. So this number is in seconds, but we would have 1.3 milliseconds of added latency by running an L2. So at this point, I have all of my channels going into my main left right bus. My main left right bus has an insert of waves on it and it's being sent out to the PA. Now, if I wanted to hear my console without waves, I can simply uninsert or unconnect my left right inside of waves. So at this point, I am talking and this is not including waves. If I was wanting to include waves again, I could reinsert this. Now, what if I was wanting to insert on a channel? Well, I can go and insert on my channel one by going and selecting my channel, pressing view on the configuration and preamp section, and then over on our last rotary knob, we can go down to aux three. We can connect and we can insert. At this point, I still am talking to this microphone. We are seeing that I have metering, but we're not hearing anything. And that's because we haven't completed the path inside of waves. So now we can go and jump over to Waves. I can go over to my Rack 2. I can then title this Vocal. I can then go and grab my input. This is going to be a mono channel on Expansion 3. Once I have done that, we can see that I now have metering inside of Waves, and I now have metering on my console. So we can go in and maybe add a real-time Waves tune. So we can see waves tune real time. And if I was wanting to, I could go and turn this to T-Pain style. Oh. So at this point, I have auto tune on this microphone live with very little latency. Now remember, this plugin here is running zero samples of latency. So that means that it's only adding one millisecond because of our round trip through waves and our aux insert path. I hope this video was helpful for you today. If you do happen to have any questions, feel free to drop that in the comment section down below. Also, I'm going to be releasing a whole bunch more videos on Waves Sound Grid and the plugins that are available to us. So if there's a favorite plugin that you want me to make a video on, make sure to drop that in the comment section down below as I'm always reading through those comment sections to find videos that are gonna be helpful for you. If you haven't already, make sure to check out my website at drewbrashler.com where I just released a brand new X32 Fundamentals course where I teach through my favorite five fundamentals that I believe that every audio engineer should know to be able to be excellent at the Behringer X32. So you can check out more information about that at drewbrashler.com. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day.